Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambeau channel. You know, I, I, I very much love it when the vast majority of the cryptocurrency chart analysts that I follow happen to come to conclusions that are either the same or almost exactly the same, but they come to these conclusions completely on their own. That always makes me take notice. And so what's being noticed today? I'll tell you right here at the outset. A couple things. First of all, Ethereum has reached a new all-time high above $1,500 today for the first time ever. And this is important because, well, obviously, in terms of market cap, it's, it's behind Bitcoin. So it's, it's the number one altcoin in terms of market cap. Historically, once such a thing has happened, it means that it effectively, it's, it's alt season. Like, it is, it is time. This thing is entering price discovery right now. Ethereum is officially in price discovery and this is a point, this is a trigger where more money flows into the rest of the, uh, the rest of the altcoins in the market. And another thing that these analysts agree on is that XRP will not be left out even with the uncertainty of the, the, the SEC case against Ripple. Uh, even with that hanging over the heads of investors, XRP is still going to come along for the ride. So say these analysts that I'm following. And again... <laughs> It doesn't happen all that frequently where I see a ton of analysts effectively saying the same thing at more or less the same time. So I take note, and I'm just going to share with you what I've what I found. Now, I, uh, I do want to be clear that I do not have a financial background of any kind. I am not offering financial advice, and you should not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say or write. Period. Uh, so as I record this, XRP at $0.38.4, cents, Bitcoin at $35,813, market cap little over a trillion dollars. That's, I just, I never get tired of saying that. Over a trillion dollars, cryptocurrency asset class. Uh, Bitcoin dominates at 62.07%. Now, if indeed these analysts are correct, expect in the coming days, weeks, so on and so forth, I don't know exactly what the timing is going to be, and there's no way they could either. Uh, they're just looking for markers, but as far as the precise times, it's like, hmm. But uh, expect Bitcoin dominance to continue to decline, which is what you saw last market cycle. You saw Bitcoin get down to a dominance level of roughly 35% before springing back up ultimately. But when alt season happens, man, and it doesn't even mean that Bitcoin will be uh, losing in terms of market cap. In fact, that in a general sense would be kind of unlikely. It's, it's, it's really more so that in terms of growth, the altcoins would outpace Bitcoin. That's that's really what's more likely, I personally think. That's my unprofessional opinion. But that's, that's, that's what we've seen in the past, you know? Um, and so here's Ethereum. I don't know, you guys are like, just talk about XRP, damn it. I'm like, I'm like, just chill, just slow, yo, bro, I promise I'm going to get to it. But just between us girls here, this matters. You know, you're, I love seeing this too. All-time high, $1,544.84. 24-hour uh, high, the exact same figure. This has just happened, my friends. And if you just, again, look historically at what has occurred, Ethereum goes first, then into the rest of the large cap coins, uh, sometimes excluding XRP <laughs> for the short term, for the short term, uh, then mid cap, then small cap, then back to Bitcoin, rinse and repeat. And so I, I want to uh, put a little warning out there. Nothing serious doesn't mean that something is fundamentally wrong, but I have observed myself that XRP trades sideways longer than other cryptocurrencies. It's, it's just compared to large, large cap coins. You know, it doesn't mean that it's not going to take off. And in listening to a blockchain backers video today, and um, I've got a few things to say on there's really interesting here in his perspective, but um, he was even talking about something that I've brought up a number of times on my channel, which is right before uh, the last market cycle, XRP went from 20 something cents to almost $4. Like I've told a story, there's one guy that stands out to me where uh, he had been holding XRP for, I can't even remember how long, it was over half a year or a year, it wasn't doing anything, he got fed up and he's like, it's not doing anything, I'm selling. He got out. And then like it was one, two or three days later, XRP went on its biggest bull ride in history. Again, 20 something cents up to almost $4. And that is never the memory of watching that video and then seeing what happened is never going to leave me. And the blockchain back was saying the same thing. He was talking about all sorts of uh, YouTubers, you know, roughly mid-December 2017, talking about how they're getting out of XRP, how it doesn't make any sense. And that resonated with me because I've shared that story, which I just shared again right now, a, a number of times on this channel. And it's just, it, it's this whole idea of chasing the shiny. Oh my gosh, another green candle. Well, it's already pumped. You should have been positioned before that, probably. You know, <laughs> you know, do what you, do what you want to do. If you want to go chase a green candle, I'm not going to stop you. I'm not offering financial advice. I'm just saying, what I keep seeing is, 
uh, something pumps, people buy it after the pump because whatever they're currently invested in, they think it's not performing, it's nothing's ever going to happen, and then inevitably it takes off. But the reality is, I purchased in 2017 17 different cryptocurrencies, and mind you, I jumped in at November 2017, right before the the biggest chunk of the craziness ha uh, happened in terms of price action. Weird time to happen to have jumped in, and. There wasn't one cryptocurrency I purchased that didn't go parabolic. I kid you not. And it's not like I put some crazy amount of money into it because I was still learning. But part of, for me, learning, part of it was just actually getting real world experience. And so that's what I did. But there's not one cryptocurrency that I purchased that didn't go parabolic after I purchased it, which is nutty. And so if, if people are still going to behave the same this market cycle then being patient is what results in people winning, which is something that the blockchain backer has been talking about on his channel for some time. I've been saying it for years. That's what I'm doing for myself. I'm not going to sell something to go chase something. If I want whatever the other something is, I'm just going to put new fresh money in it. That's it. That's all I personally am going to do. And so uh, let's jump into this now. From chart analyst Credible Crypto, and you're going to see some very samey types of opinions type opinions coming up here soon. Uh, here are the following. I don't trade fractals, but you already know. I think we are close to a bottom. I, in parentheses, he writes, a dip to monthly level at 30 and a half cents, still technically possible. Uh, and the current PA looks strikingly similar to the last bottom I pointed out before we rallied to 75 cents. Bottom is in or close to in on XRP. And so ultimately, this would be one of those situations, and uh, you, you do whatever you want. This is not minor selling advice. Like I keep uh, hammering, I'm going to keep hammering home that point. I'm sorry, but there's always new subscribers coming on board, and I just want, I don't want anyone to think I'm someone or something I'm not. So I'm not, I'm not a chart analyst. I just enjoy talking about this stuff as an enthusiast. But for people that want in, according to Credible Crypto, this would be a buying opportunity because it's not going to be going lower, right? Um, and then he, he was asked here, okay, but. Uh, if Bitcoin takes a run to the top, will it suppress altcoins or will they follow? And Credible Crypto, he goes on to tweet in response to that, look, many cryptocurrencies are primed to run against Bitcoin uh, at the moment. And so there you go. One analyst stating right there, altcoins freaking primed. Well, how about that? You're going to see this as I get to other uh, chart analysts. You're going to see this... Uh, the same uh, opinion pop up again and again and again and again. Uh, before I get to the next analyst, though, another tweet from Credible Crypto. He wrote, The trolls came out in full force today, and I'm just sitting here like, uh, we are still up 50% from four days ago, lol. Because think about it. And so this tweet was from was like 4.05 in the morning. Fine, but um, it, fine. So there was a massive run-up and then a retracement. This is crypto, guys. Like, if you're new to this, I get how this could be very scary looking, but this is par for the course. These are illiquid markets, and it doesn't take much to jostle them in terms of huge percentage changes. But to me, that's what represents opportunity. I've been in this for over three years. This stuff doesn't phase me in the least. I'm emotionally bulletproof. And then he writes the following. Unless we drop below the origin of our impulse at 24 and a half cents, this is a buy the dip opportunity. I'll say I'm wrong if 24 and a half cents is lost. Until then, bears are jumping the gun. And so we wrote that one before the, the, the original one. I, I guess I probably should have read it in the other order in hindsight. Whatever. Moon Lambo, not perfect. Somebody's out there is like, unsubscribe. And I say, bye, Felicia. No, come back. I miss you. But you can see here, now he's saying really more realistically, 30 and a half cents for the bottom. Uh, here's a tweet from High Altitude Investing. He wrote the following. When strong trend development occurs, fighting that trend is a gambler's game. Hashtag Ethereum. And again, this is important. I know it's this is an XRP-centric channel, but uh, it's not explicit, like exclusively explicitly XRP. But this is important for XRP holders to be aware of this. Breakout of all-time high. Similar market structure as many internet bubble stocks. Price action will continue in a parabolic fashion. Multi-millionaires will be made. And this, the, again... Ethereum taking off like this is important for the rest of the market. It's it's not the Bitcoin is the leader. It leads the market. Ethereum leads altcoins. Just keep it in mind. Uh, here's a tweet from chart analyst DIY Investing. Crypto is in price discovery. Now that Ethereum is in price discovery, we are about to see more money flood into altcoins than we have ever seen before. Are you ready? And I watched his video too, and he's saying, he's effectively saying the same thing that every other chart analyst happened to be saying today. And then look, I, I don't believe that these people are freaking coordinating. They may not even all know each other. I just follow, I just happen to follow these people. Some of them know each other, no doubt, because I mean, it's, you know, it's crypto and they're, they're they are fans of XRP, but... 
uh, I, I'll tell you what, like, what one of the things that DIY Investing said in his video today is like, look, the amount of money that is going to be flowing in during this market cycle, it's just, and I'm paraphrasing, but this is exactly, this is what he was stating. It's, it's going to dwarf what happened during any other market cycle, including the last one. You know, and it just, it just makes you wonder here, like, if all of these cryptocurrencies that are still going to hang around, if they are going to hit all-time highs and they are going to enter price discovery, that would have to be true, wouldn't it? Wouldn't you think, anyway? And and he is firm on the idea of XRP. He's been talking about it ad nauseum. The idea that XRP is just going to go to zero, go away, or not be a part of this bull run is pure puppycock. I'm telling you guys. Like... <laughs> It even so fine. People left. I got it. People got scared because of the SEC news. Don't blame them one bit. If it's if it's um you know, it, it, there's more risk. I acknowledge it. There's more risk to holding XRP now. But I, I just I'm seeing that XRP still even at a suppressed level still following the asset class, and I I still think that people will chase the shiny wherever the shiny is. So when you start to get some, even if there's just a spark around the price action of XRP, at some point it goes parabolic and. Uh, if history repeats itself, just please be aware of this also. Like, XRP is going to be among the last altcoins to take off. It was the last alt cycle, but it was the biggest and the best. And I mean, gosh, from be from bottom to top of that market cycle, I, I can't remember the exact percentage gains, but it was like 60 or 70,000 percent. So if XRP is going to move and be part of this market cycle in terms of positive price action, which I, I suspect it will, we'll see, then just don't be surprised if it's one of the last to move. And so it's going to result in some people capitulating and then they're going to miss the opportunity and they'll be kicking themselves. I'm sure I'm going to find somebody on YouTube, uh, you know, three days, it'll happen again, I bet, three days before the damn thing pops. Oh, it's just XRP, it, 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 it been not go up in price when I want it to, I feel. Well, and then I'm just going to, all right, do, you do you, you can do that. Uh, and then it's going to take off and then I'm going to be like, told you so. I told you, damn it. Here's a tweet from, Fellow XRP YouTuber blockchain backer. As Ethereum breaks into new all-time high, the total altcoin market cap breaks through the final Fibonacci retracement level of the multi-year bear market, the point zero, uh, oh, I'm sorry, point seven eight six. Next stop for total altcoin market cap is all-time high. I think that kind of speaks for itself. I know what I hate, and I don't hate that. He also tweeted this out, historic moment as... XRP price chart mirrors the past and total market cap closes all time high. And by the way, in his video today, he, he did something where he, he made a joke. I thought it was, was kind of funny. He's like, guys, he, he's like, this is proof that we are living in a simulation. And he pulled up the chart from the last market cycle, the XRP chart, and placed it over what's happened this market cycle. And it lines up. Like, despite even the stuff that's happened with the SEC, just overall, it just freaking lines up. And I just kind of got a kick out of this. Like, we are in simulation. <laughs> the chart, hey, it, he's right. It does freaking match up. He illustrated that. Uh, here's a tweet from Love Crypto, who quite simply put, send it. Hashtag XRP. So looking to the upside. And uh, brevity is the soul of wit. So there you go. Send it XRP. Very brief. Brevity is the soul of wit. You know who said that? It's Bill Shakespeare. Got some Bill Shakespeare in your life here now. Uh, here's a tweet from Magic, another chart analyst who simply wrote, Bitcoin looks like it's about to test the all-time high. Uh, there are huge hidden bullish divergences on the daily MACD and RSI now. Same thing for Litecoin. The MACD is also crossing over bullish right now. Uh, so that'd be good. Wouldn't, wouldn't hate to see Bitcoin continuing to go up even if uh, altcoins outpace it substantially, which I suspect will be the case. But there you go. He's talking about the MACD, which, by the way, is the freshest hip-hop artist on the scene today, Mac D. I'll go ahead and wrap up there. Thank you for stopping by, my friends. I am not a financial advisor. Do not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambo.